Let's get ready together. Hey guys, it's Jack Jack and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am doing a get ready with me. I have some new products I want to try out. So Carity sent the Come As You Are palette and I thought it looked so cool. I definitely wanted to do a video on it. When I saw the colors in here, it instantly reminded me of two palettes. The Jay Kissa and Elf palette that I did a video on not too long ago. I think that was just last week, maybe. I'll leave it linked in the cards if you missed that, but um, there's a lot of similar colors from that palette. Like, not saying that this is a copy or anything, but they reminded me of one another. And then also the Anastasia Subculture palette. Like, this kind of have has hints of that palette as well. Overall, this is like just a super unique looking palette and I'm just so stoked to do a video on it. Ah! They also sent four of the matte liquid lipsticks that they have. This is part of their 90s edition, so super excited to try these out as well. And let me just tell you why I love this brand. No, this isn't sponsored. I wish it was, but it's not. Carity is 100% cruelty-free, which you know I love, and they're also really affordable. But on top of being cruelty-free and affordable, let me just read you this little card, or actually no, let me just read you the little um, sleeve that they have on the palette. It says, this palette helped feed an animal in need. As a 100% cruelty-free brand, we have a big soft spot in our hearts for animals. For every palette we sell, we donate to our local SPCA through the Palettes for Paws, Palettes for Paws initiative. So hashtag Palettes for Paws. So I think that's so awesome. So when you shop this brand, you're helping the animals. And then another thing I love about this palette is when you turn the back, you actually see the colors and the names, which I think is so, so helpful versus like when they just say the names, you're like going back and forth. You're like, wait, which which one was that? I'm not sure. But the names are also on there, so it's not like totally necessary, but still cool. Enough chit chat, let's just go ahead and jump on into the video and get ready. I did my eyebrows off camera because it's been the same thing I've been doing for like the past month or two now. And I think I'm gonna start with the eyes first and then do my face last. A little backwards for me, but I just, I'm in the mood to do that. Ooh, I forgot to prime my eyes. Forgot to prime my eyes. I'm gonna take my concealer, just pop that on my eyelids real quick. I'm just gonna use my finger, blend this out. And of course we wanna set that, so I'm just gonna take my powder and just press that right on top of the eyelid. This palette is so cute. It has little lightning bolts and then little aliens. Do you guys see that? It's adorable. I love it. I love aliens. I just cleaned these brushes so they're like still a little wet crap. I think I'm going to start with the color Riot right here on a big fluffy brush like this. And I'm gonna use this as my transition color Let's see how that looks. I think that blended out really nicely, actually. Not too bad, not too bad. Hi, <laughs> way Zoe. Why? Why, Zoe, why? Next, I'm gonna take the shade Cool Beans right here in the middle on a standard blending brush, and I'm gonna blend this into my crease. So since we switched brushes, this color is not going to go as high, it's just going to kind of stay right here. So that way we could still see the transition color peeking above it. This palette, like kind of the same way I described the Elf and J Kissa palette, it's such a funky palette that I feel like challenges you to kind of step outside your comfort zone with your makeup, try something a little bit different. And so I really do enjoy palettes like this. And I think the colors are looking really nice. They're pigmented, they're blending really, really nicely. Kind of looks like a sunset on my crease right now. That's pretty cool, pretty cool. I know I for sure want to incorporate this lime, like electric green here. I for sure want to try that color out. Okay, let me see, what are we gonna do? Let's add a highlight color. Oh, there really isn't a highlight shade in here. Let me swatch this Drew color right here. This is the lightest in the palette. Oh, I guess that could maybe work as a highlight. Okay, we'll try it. So, 
We'll take the color Drew, kind of brush that. I feel like I just put glitter. <laughs> That's all I did, I just put glitter there. This color, um, duh, is really, really pretty. Same with this dank, what the heck kind of word is that? This dank color looks really pretty, and then tattletale, oh, so pretty. Okay, what the heck am I gonna do? I wanna put another color in my crease, actually. Is this gonna ruin the look if I do this? I need like a mini version of the standard blending brush. So with a smaller blending brush, I'm gonna take the shade Dank. That's a weird word, I don't like saying. I don't like how that sounds when it comes out of my mouth. I'm going to blend this in the crease also, but I'm gonna try and keep it pretty low because I don't wanna cover up that orange that we have. You know what I'm saying? I really like the quality of these shadows. I feel like I always have a pretty good experience with Carity products. Okay, I think I just need to like focus on trying to blend that out a little bit better without taking away from that orange. Ah, okay, so we've got that on and now I wanna take the shade Um Duh right here. I really like this color. I'm gonna take it on a flat shader brush here so far, all the colors I've been using are matte, and I think that's what I'm gonna stick with for this look. And I'm going to pack this, oh, that's so pretty. I'm gonna pack this all over the lid. Get right on in that inner corner of the eye. Just gonna place that until we meet up with that green color in the crease. And of course, we're gonna have to go back to make sure it's all blended. Ugh, that looks cool. I dig it. But let me go back and I'm gonna pick up just a little more of that dank color. Ew, ugliest name ever. <laughs> We're gonna go right above where the blue is and like try and get some of that green color to show up a little more. Are you guys proud of me? I've been trying to incorporate green more into my makeup looks. Still not my favorite color to work with, but I've been challenging myself. That looks pretty cool right there. Ah, okay, so. For the inner corner, okay, check this out. This may just go terribly wrong, but I want to apply this color on the inner corner. You know how putting like, kind of like a neon color on your inner corner has been like so on trend? Well, I'm gonna try it and see how that looks. This is called Psych with an ex exclamation, ex you get what I'm saying, an exclamation point. Oh. I've got, got blue, oh my god, I got blue everywhere. Uh, oh no, we've got a blue mess. I'll be right back. So I have a little bit of moisturizer and I'm taking that on a little Q-tip. Good thing I didn't do my face makeup first or else we'd be in big trouble. Back to the tutorial. I'm taking the color Psych right here. We're gonna place this on the inner corner. Ooh, that looks so cool. I really, really, okay, I like that. So moving on to the lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with the shade Um Duh on a little pencil brush. We're gonna drag this onto our lower lash line. I think that's all we're gonna do. I think I'm just gonna keep it simple on the, the lash line. Okay, I'm gonna go off camera real quick to do my eyeliner and lashes and I will be right back. Ta-da, our eyes are now complete. The lashes that I use are the House of Lashes Iconic Light and then I just use the CoverGirl Full Spectrum Eyeliner on my waterline and the Makeup Revolution, the Mascara Revolution Mascara. Okay, so now we can go ahead and do the face. I'm just going to do a little bit of the Smashbox primer oil, just a tiny bit. Like, I'm adding just a little drop to my fingers. Just gonna apply that all over my face. I feel like my forehead is the first to look super, super dry with my makeup. And I think it's because of how like expressive I am with my forehead. So it like accentuates the fine lines and just usually looks more dry. And then followed by my nose. 
The foundation I'm going to use is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. You guys know I've been loving this foundation. Of course, you want to be sure to blend it onto your neck. I feel like I always go back and forth between loving a foundation brush and loving a sponge. For the longest time, I was all about sponges. I wouldn't even dare touch a foundation brush. But lately, I've been all about foundation brushes. This one in particular from IT Cosmetics. This is the Airbrush Foundation Brush. I have been really, really liking it. So as you can see, I focus mainly on this part of my face with my foundation. And then whatever is left, I'll drag it onto my forehead. But I really don't need a ton of foundation on my forehead area. And for concealer, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour. Ew, my hand has like all this eyeliner. Gross. I'm using the shade C8. I'm gonna apply that on basically the same area as I always apply my concealer, under my eyes and then down the center of my face. And I always turn my foundation brush, like when I am using a brush, I turn my foundation brush on its side and just kind of do padding motions. Beautiful, beautiful coverage. I'm obsessed. So for powder, I'm going to take the Too Faced It's Bananas, um, what is this? It's Bananas Setting Powder. I'm obsessed with this powder. I can't get enough of it. Just going to tap that under the eyes, around the nose, for sure the T-zone area. Boom. For bronzer, I'm sure you guys can guess, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild You're Dragging Me Down bronzer. I am still obsessed with this bronzer. For the most natural contour, you want to focus it like really at your hairline. Oh, <laughs> I choked on the air while I was talking. And then just slowly drag it towards like the corner of your mouth, but not all the way. You really just want to focus it right there. I really went heavy handed with that. Do you guys see that? And then I also will drag it up onto my forehead. And then, of course, I'm going to dust a little on the double chin area. And then down at the sides of my nose. Add some shape to my very flat nose. For blush, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Modern Metals Palette. I think I'm going to take a mix of... These two colors? I think that's what I want to do. So you don't really need to tap that much because these are very pigmented. I'm just going to sweep that on my cheeks. I do sort of like this weird smile so you can see where the little apples of your cheeks are. There we go. And for highlight, I'm actually going to go in with the ColourPop Disney Villains Hades Highlighter. This is called Everybody's Got a Weakness. And it looks like this. I'm going to use my finger to apply this. Yes, I really like this. So the first time that I used the... Um, Disney Villains Super Shock Highlighters from ColourPop in my video that I did. What, when was this? Last week, I think. Um, I used a brush and I wasn't crazy with how it, how it looked when applying it with a brush. So my opinion on it was like, eh, it's like, it's a so-so highlighter. But when you apply it with your finger, it's a game changer. And then I'm just going to take a little, and I'm just like tapping my finger. I'm going to apply that to the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow. So I'm tapping the product, but I'm also tapping it on my face. I'm not like dragging my finger across because I don't want to like rub off the foundation or anything like that. So just little tapping motions like that. <gasps> I love how this looks. So last but not least, we have the liquid lipsticks. I've done swatch videos for Carity liquid lipsticks in the past. Um, I'll link like my most recent one in the cards for you guys. But this is part of the 90s edition. So they're all like brown because you know the 90s was all about brown lips. And I think I want to go with like the lightest shade in here. Let me just quickly do swatches. I'm just going to rip open. <laughs> This, this is called All That. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty. So here's what All That looks like. It's uh, like pinky, rosy, mauve type of color. This shade is called Whatever. Ooh, look at that. 
Oh, my voice cracked. Oh, this reminds me of Moon from Kylie Cosmetics, but it's just like a grayish mauve color. Again, still has that like brown undertone to it, but it's more like a gray mauve type of color. Not sure what we're gonna do yet. This one is called As If. This is the darkest of all of them. Ooh, check that out. It's like a brown purple, really dark vampy type of lip. And then lastly, we have Pretty Fly, which I think maybe I'll do this one. I'm not sure. Maybe, yeah, I think I might do this one. Oh yeah, this is my kind of color. The perfect like warm nude shade. I have like a million and 10 colors in my lipstick collection that are just like this, but that's my favorite type of lip color to wear. So we're gonna go, oh, and it's, I was describing it, looking at, at it through the viewfinder, but when I like turn my hand over, um, it's definitely like a little more on the warm, like orangey side of a nude brown, but it's still, it's still a nude brown, but it has more like orangey tones to it, if that makes sense. It's not orange, it's not orange, but anyways, that's the color Pretty Fly I'm gonna use to apply on my lips right now. And there we go, that completes this look. What do you guys think? I'm so obsessed with how this turned out. I love everything. Oh. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out and getting ready with me. If you want to try any of the products that I featured in today's video, I'll have it all linked below for you guys. Um, let me know if you have any requests for future videos, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Okay, so like... Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm like sweating right now. That sounded dumb. Every time I film, Zoe like doesn't bark all day until I press the record button. Every time. I'm using the shade a little bit. Zoe, shut up! With the elf point. And I think, oh my gosh, just can't do anything.